What's going on guys, it's Connor here with TC Bros and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install our crash bars front and rear on our M8 soft sail that we have here at the shop. Now like all bikes, they're a little bit different, right? So your bike might have mid controls already on them, it might have forward controls, it might have some crash bars, and you're just looking to upgrade. Whatever the case may be, if you ever have any questions at any point during an install, you can refer back to your instruction sheets. They provide much more context and detail than what I will in this video. What I'm gonna show you is a basic install on the stock Harley controls. First things first on this install, any of these bolts that we don't want to come out later, at least not easily when we're riding especially, we're going to want to put blue Loctite on. So I went ahead and did that on all the bolts. I fit up the crash bars onto the bike and I was able to hold them with one hand and get a few bolts started. Once you get a few bolts started, then you don't have to hold it and it's really not that heavy at all. I'm also going to put the foot peg bracket on. We're going to put these bolts all in there pretty loosely. We don't want to tighten anything down yet because when we get to the other side, we're going to need a little bit of play to get those bolts started. With the clutch side done, we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to the brake side. We're gonna be using Loctite again on these bolts as well. Now there's four holes here. You're gonna want the second one from the top. So we're just gonna loosely start this until we get the other three bolts in. As soon as that's done, we can go ahead and reinstall our OEM brake controls. The brake control on the forward side is going to have one bolt that goes through that forward hole that you see there. And then the peg portion is going to have two bolts. You're gonna see me tighten up. Conveniently, it's the same size 15 16 Allen as the crash bars are, so you don't have to swap around with a bunch of sockets and tools. And once we get these ones on, we can tighten them down as well. Then our brake side front crash bars are fully installed. Once everything on the brake side is tight, we can jump back over to the clutch side and finish tightening down all four of those bolts. These are the same four bolts that we had already started but left loose in the earlier steps. And once those are all tight, the front crash bars are completely installed. Now moving on to the back, you need to do one side at a time. I chose to do the exhaust side first. Now on this bike, with the exhaust that it has on, which is the stock one, I did have to loosen the bolts up and the brackets for the exhaust to give myself clearance for this bottom bolt. Depending on your configuration, you may have to do the same. Now this is really easy. All there is is just three Allen bolts, same 5 16 sizes. And with the exhaust side done, the other side is even easier. There's nothing in the way here. We can go ahead and put Loctite on all three of these and tighten them down. And with everything tight and secure, you're pretty much done. And in just a matter of minutes, we've installed front and rear crash bars on this Harley. If you ever at any point during the install had questions, you can refer back to your instruction manual. Again, that provides a lot more context and detail than what I did in this video. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you on the next one.